I would describe the conditions outside that gate as like kind of apocalyptic. I'm trying to do dispatches for Coffee or Die. You know, once it was kind of figured out that I was there, I was getting hundreds of messages a day. Hey, my Terp is there. This old commando that I knew is there. This guy's family is there, whatever. I was getting hundreds of messages of like, hey, can you help get this person out? And using this network of people back home that are communicating with the Afghans that are trying to get out, communicating with the active duty mill that's there, communicating with other agencies that are there, and trying to figure out where we can pluck these people. Do as many trips as I could to get people. You'd pull them through the gate. If you're, you know, US passport hole, like you could kind of fake the funk of like bringing people through, like, I didn't wear any press things or any of that. I just would do it basically until my phone died. And then I would go back, plug my phone in, you know, sleep for a half hour. It was pretty much uh, like that for the whole time. 